Hi guys, welcome to this first video in a series of new videos about the fundamentals of business and looking after your finances. So let's get into it. So guys, managing your budget is a crucial way of controlling your costs and identifying where you're either making money or wasting money. So before you even start a business, you need to sit down and write all the expenses that are gonna come along when you start this business. So before you even start it, you've wrote, this is gonna cost this, this is gonna cost this, this is gonna cost this. And what'll end up happening is you'll save yourself a lot of pain in the future by doing this, because you'll be able to forecast what money you're going to need, not today, not tomorrow, not next month, but for the 12 months ahead. So once you've done this, you can ensure you have the necessary funds to start the business. And that's why you're looking 12 months ahead because if you were thinking oh I've only got $20,000 and I'm going to do this business and once you come and write all this down and you add it up and it comes to $30,000 then you probably need to rethink your plan and see where you're expending the extra 10,000 because if you're thinking right it's going to take uh, about a year to become profitable and then you've wrote your plan out and you've only got 20 grand and you look at the plan and it's like oh I won't become profitable for a year, but I need 30,000 pound. You're putting yourself up to fail for sure then. So in this budget, right, you could be putting things like inventory, rent, rates, marketing, gas, electric, employees, stationery. You can probably look this up on the internet. There'll be like a whole list of things that you need to budget. You need to write these down and say, this is what I think this thing will actually cost so that you don't run out of money once again and get yourself into trouble. You know what the really clever guys do is that they find ways to make money even before they start the business, right? So imagine you're thinking about starting a dog grooming business and you're like, okay, I'm going to get that premises and I know I need all these shampoos and I need all these brushes, etc, etc. And then you get started and you're paying rent from day one and off you go. You know, the other way to do that would be first, go and find 10 or 20 customers, you know, knock on their doors, find them however you can and say, hi, I would like to, you know, groom your dog every one month, I don't know, two weeks, two months, three months. I don't know what that time period is because I don't own a dog. And then when they commit, you could think, okay, that's 20 people committed, commit another 20, just to be sure, right? And tell them that, oh, I'll start from in, in 30 days time or in 60 days time. Now, you've got those customers from day one, yeah, that means from day one, you're gonna have some income. Not all 40 are gonna drop out. Even if it was crazy and you know, something like 66%, which is like two thirds were to drop out, you would still have revenue on day one. And you know, you've got this revenue kind of coming in from day one when you buy everything and start doing the business. So going to find customers before you need them will also give you an insight into demand. Say you were thinking about starting a dog grooming business and you were looking at these promises and you did all that forecast, right? And you weren't looking for customers until the day you'd started it and you'd spent all that money. What happens if you went out and nobody in that area wanted their dog groomed or somebody else was doing it way better, way cheaper? That's why you would first go out and find these customers, get talking to people, this will save you a lot of headache, and this is part of your forecasting and your budget making, etc., etc. Another step is make sure you keep your business and personal expenses separate. Why do I say this? Because people end up with one bank account. Well, you definitely need another bank account for your business. And in this day and age, there's so many online banks that give you a bank account so fast, it's awesome. Get another bank account and make sure you keep your personal and your business expenses, income all separate. A, it'll be good for you so you can see what's going on. B, it'll save you loads of headache in the future when you have to do the taxes. Having a separate bank account will also assist you with better record keeping. First of all, one of the other fundamentals of starting a business is that you need to keep good records, guys. You can't be thinking, did I get this money off this customer? Is this money coming in? Where have I spent it? If you keep every income that comes in on a sheet and you have another one showing every expenditure that goes out, you can balance it at the end of each month and think, right, had 2,000 in, only 500's gone out, and 1,500 is left for me. If you don't do that, before you know it, you'll start thinking, oh, right, I had 2,000 in, I've hardly spent anything. And you know what, you'll be in trouble in a few months. And then the trouble will not be like 500 or 1,000 or 2,000, it'll be like 10,000, short, gone wrong. So 
accurate record keeping right from the start is a crucial fundamental to having a successful business in the future. So guys, I'll just expand on monitoring cash flow. You know, a good way to do this is like, you know, Google Docs or an Excel sheet. Just making sure whenever you spend something, you put it in there. Whenever something comes in as uh, an income, you put it in there because there's going to be tricky parts, right? Where you might think this thing is all profit, but it's not really because what happens is you start thinking, okay, we've got all these premises, we've got all this shampoo and the shampoo might be really expensive and these brushes are really expensive and you need to change them every month. You all of a sudden think, right, clean all these dogs. Oh, I've got 2000 left. And then you realize that you've run out all of those shampoos and they cost like 300. So you haven't really got 2000, you've only got 1700. So you definitely need to keep some kind of sheet where you write all these down and you're looking at it regularly. You know, when you're first starting off, you probably need to be looking at this sheet daily and thinking, okay, what's going right, what's going wrong? Try and put in some kind of future cash flow tool. So it's like predicting for you that, okay, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And in the future, I will either have excess money or I will need money. That That's another thing that will stop you for, from getting into any kinds of trouble. Right, so this means, you know, by doing that, you can either scale your business slowly over time and you won't get into trouble or you can accelerate the growth and go out and buy, you know, an extra dog bath, hire an extra employee, get all the shampoos you need, get like these fancy schmancy hair dryers or whatever, or do extra marketing. But if you never keep a cash flow chart or some kind of budgeting tool or something that shows you where your money is heading, you won't be able to do any of those things because once again, you might have more than you need or you might not have enough to run the business on a daily basis and then you might go kaput. Okay guys, there you have it. I've told you everything that you need to know about keeping your personal and business finances separate, how to do that, how to track it, and what to watch out for. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe, and pass it on to your friends. Don't die average. See you next time.